Hey guys, we're going to make a clock today. I'm going to make it quick. I'm not going to do much talking. We're going to do a lot of clocking. So last time we talked about the Ellis dividing head. If you don't know what this is, it divides circles into segments. It's a manual device. It's on our mill here. And we're going to use it to make a clock face today. This piece that's already in it is the clock face. It's a piece of aluminum. So the way we're going to do it is we put a Sharpie pin right here in the quill. And then we're going to use the, the mill to mark this at even increments. Now, this big block back here is uh, for setups on mills. All I'm using it for is to hold the plate steady and uh, make a mark right here. So it's not necessary for this, but uh, it was helpful for me to line everything up. It's a tap pierce block. So let's get to it. that worked. Okay. So we brought the plate in from the mill and we've made our 60 marks. But let's, uh, let's punch them. We're just going to use some manual techniques now to get a lot of holes in it. Nothing fancy. Center punch by Sterrett. Really nice small one. Aluminum is very soft, so what we're going to do is come in here to, uh, to the end of all these marks, and we're going to give it a nice punch. That will help us center the drill on it when we drill all the holes for the uh, LEDs. So here we go. And they sound like this. And they leave a little mark like that. I'm not sure if you can see it. And you know, that one's not even perfectly where it needs to be, and I'm totally okay with it because this is a handmade piece. So I'm going to come in here and try to do a little better. And there's a second one. Uh... So there, there are all the punches. I'll line up the drill bit on those to drill them. So there's 60 punches at the right depth. And the light's playing off that uh, little dimple. And they're not perfect. This one's a little to the left. You know, that one might be about right in the center. These look really nice right here. But it's perfect for what we're doing. Perfect to me. Human made, handmade. So I'm going to kick it in neutral. And I'm just going to spin it right here. That's going to look pretty good. Alright everybody, this is the Birdmaster, and it's a little turret drill, so it's a little, it's a, a, a very utilitarian piece of equipment to have in the shop, but we're going to hand drill these 60 holes with it, we've got the right size drill bit in the chuck, we're not going to use any of the turret features that automatically turns the turret, we're just going to try to drill 60 holes, as good as we can, by hand, well sort of. We'll align them by hand and then we'll drill them with the machine. So you ready?
I'm thinking Taylor is as hard as this is to Buddy. We made the clock, we drilled the holes, we chamfered them, but let's give this face a little bit more character. This is just as we received it aluminum finish. Nothing wrong with it, it looks pretty industrial, but let's give it a swirl or two on this 240 block and see what we can get it to look like. Now to get a handle on this thing I'm just going to use a few pins so I can move it around. I'm holding these pins so they don't stick through, but we're just going to give this guy We'll figure eight. So let's, I think we're about there. Again, I don't want to go too far. I've had variable strokes. This is not a lesson on exactly how to make something flat. But let's uh, all right. We got the final sand on it, and you know what? It's just like I like it. It's imperfect, but it's also unique. So let's uh, let's assemble this thing. Here's all the parts we're going to use. So let's put the uh, hardware in. Let's get a few things going on. Let's, uh, this first one is going to take a little doing for our mount. And this will end up being noon on the top. Again, real simple. Little rugged. There's kind of a clue about how that's going to look. And we'll uh, get a screwdriver here in a minute and get all these looking aligned radially. Now, there's absolutely no reason for these other bolts other than they mark the hours. in out of order. Oh dang, there's 61 holes here. <laughs> the hand has a little cover on it. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's put the minute on here.
Let's use it.